A local family needs your help tonight. They have plenty of love, but they need household items and money to get back on their feet after they lost everything to a fire last month. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us now with how they're getting by. Brad? Well, Cammie, for close to 10 years, Monell Pence's home was a weekend getaway for the family, a place for more than 20 of them to kick back, relax, and enjoy each other's company. But all that is gone after a fire destroyed the property, leaving Pence and her family with nothing but memories. They don't understand because they keep saying, oh, no, I want to go to your house. You get a new house, you got a new house. No, baby, not yet. But that's all I hear is, I want to go to your house, no, no. No, no, let me go home with you. No, no, let me go home. And I can't. I have nowhere to take them. On April 15th, Monel Pence got a call from her daughter telling her the house was gone. Pence lost everything, including her 13-year-old dog named Annie. Then I just freaked out because I knew my dogs were in there. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about Annie. Pence doesn't have insurance. The only thing that was spared, her other dog, a two-year-old named Sookie, who still has visible burns from the fire. Prior to that, her van broke down. Uh, she got laid off from work and then the fire. So, I mean, and all I wanted to do was try to get out there to get help. Now, through an online effort, the family is hoping to get Pence a new place to live. Since the fire, she's been living with her sister, Paulette Greer. I would go up every weekend to her house. That was my getaway. You know, we'd take all of our grandkids together. Between us, we have 14. But they can't do that anymore. This gathering in Greer's front yard will have to do. But it's moments like this that makes Pence miss her own home. I miss my grandkids because they don't get to see me as much. You know, I can't take them on the weekends. Now, the fire was ruled electrical as the cause, and Pence wasn't the only one living there permanently. Her 19-year-old grandson also lived there with her. Right now, he's living with another family member as well. Cami. All right, Brad, thank you. And for more information on how you can help, you can head to our website, local12.com, and click on the red Get It button.